Don't care, Jazzy. No, hey, you didn't do it with my permission. Like Somebody calls you and goes away. Okay, I'm sorry, Jasmine. Okay. But you don't leave without my permission again. Got it? It goes way past pissing me off. Okay? I won't allow it. Just let me know. I like you, but you can't do that. Okay. Uh, I'll demo first. I'm good, I'm good right now. I've got everything I need to get done. Okay. So I'm really good. The kid didn't show, so I don't have to worry about those issues. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a little, uh, good job. Oh, no, yeah. I don't see That's right, yeah. Yeah, fine. Uh, we'll get you to it. Um, yeah, I'm good. Um, today, my staff, we're going to do some in there. I'll find a back here. It's two hours. Well, I'll give you a break. I'm going to kill you. No, I mean, you want to see my own thing? No. It tastes like a good one. Dude, I'm getting hungry just looking at that. Yeah. Yeah. What is he? Right here. Yeah, oh, no, I saw her today, so she's here. Oh, she's she's really yeah. Did you make that? No, no. Okay. Hold it for a 
room. Jasmine, take a seat up here. Jasmine, no, you're not fine. Get up here. Yes, yeah, you took him, he had a test in the hand. Flat, but, oh, no, right, Adam. Yeah, I think it flats. Okay, uh, one thing, I'm going to make sure, sure sir, from I now on, make sure that he doesn't carry it back. You were with him, so it was kind of sort of a but next time, make sure that you have it in your hands. The okay. test? Okay. Yeah, test. Okay. But Tyler, Pat's is a hand, just like the test. Oh, so the test went back? Uh, he didn't have a test anymore. Adam's yeah. test went back. No, there was one test, two answer forms. I need test 40. So she needs to go get the, the test again. Okay. okay. Uh, right. Why is David Yeah, but she, actually, now I'm just like, she, she's just in charge of that. Uh, we do that Chris for Wallace. Actually, something Chris. Uh, Arlo, I'm putting this Somebody, Chris, is. if it's, uh, if it's AJ, uh, if it's, uh, one of his tests, Chris uh, Chris handles every time. Okay, including ours. So only comes in and comes in. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Uh, girl, this is in your study skills class. But I need to do this. That's it. Wow. <laughs> no one respects you. Well, what are you working on? Okay. What History. Are you working? I'm always working on history. You didn't murder that guy last? Okay. How was the mid two? Okay. Uh, through the missile crisis, it's a long chapter. This is section two. Yeah, long chapter. I'll supervise. Uh, I'm trying to spend Okay, war resumes. Okay, cultural revolution. Okay, war in Vietnam. Okay, in the big big thing. Vietnam war. The war divides the world. Cultural strategies. Two different maps. Blah blah. Carl, I can supervise you more than Sydney. Yeah, you can help her with this because this is this yeah. is going to be anything to do with China. Yeah, I just I just said that. Blah blah. Same thing. So we're in the wrong place. Uh, section three. Uh, yeah, that's not the one. Wrong chapter. Right here. Okay. Right here, the missile places right there. Come on. Okay. I got them from the off or the librarian. Like nobody has them. She had like a little tiny stash. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's do a little a little uh, speed drill. We'll keep it down. Now, I'll give you a little chance, because I kind of, I really want Aiden here when we do this. This is what kind of gets me. So, I'll give you a choice here. I think she is that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she is, too. So, do you want to do this? I can go away from Aiden. Okay, but in the meantime, you want to uh, get a choice. Harry Potter. Or Cyborgs. You could read the, uh, yeah. Harry Potter, okay. Yeah. We'll read the Harry Potter until about the time she gets it. Okay? Then we'll break for uh set. Then I'll give you a 15 minute break and then we'll do sight words. Because I want to wait for you and you don't have Yeah, because the sight words are really important for her. Okay? We really want to make sure she gets the sight words. Okay, so get the books. <laughs> okay. I try to be accommodating to the kids. Because Aiden, I want to. It's the site where the stuff is important. important. Yeah, okay. Okay, Rita, you're going to have to come up here. Rita? Rita. You're going to have to move up four. Unless. One, two, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. We could. Yeah, we're good enough. Rita, move up. And once you get here. Now the book differs a bit from the movie. Now, 
Why would a book differ from the movie? Because the author probably like would it written it like differently than the director did. Do you have well, yeah, but what, what's the difference? Because remember, in most cases, not all, but in most cases, the, uh, uh, the book comes first. Yeah, the book came out. So, for Star Wars. You, you'll be able to read, but. What? Do you have any gum? No, I never have gum. I've never seen any gum. Okay. Uh, let's go with it. So. Does the movie maker have constraints that the author doesn't have? Movie constraints. Are there limitations? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah, there's some limitations. Well, I'm time. Yes, I pay a lot of money to the people that are asking. Well, yeah, but let's go. Time. Uh, girls, if you're going to be working on homework, I can't be hearing you, okay? Okay. Now, what we're looking at when you're doing uh, the difference in a uh, book in a movie is the author of a book his only constraint is he does have a little constraint on, on length but it's only how long his only worry is boring his audience okay so if you you might edit a book and knock it down a bit so to make sure to keep the action flowing uh, and you don't bore, uh, you don't bore your readers but other than that not an issue that's why some of the Harry Potter books got bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, because you know as long as you keep the action going, it's good. Now, a movie is a different ball game. You've got about a, the longest you can uh, reasonably be is about two and a half hours. That's it. Okay, anything over that, uh, one, you're into flatter busting, uh, you know, because everybody's going to have to go to the bathroom sometime during the movie. So you might have to, if it's a long movie like uh, oh. Let's say it's a four-hour gone with a limb type thing. You're going to need at least a 15-minute intermission. So you're going to have to break into two. But mostly, you want to keep it down to between one and a half hours and two and a half hours. Most movies are about two hours. Go. Uh, by the way, um, the school is behind. The what? The school is behind. I don't give a less behind. That's true. Okay, let's go. It's funny they added that on. No, no, okay. Because the school is small, small one. Okay. Now, uh, I'll get you in a minute. Now, uh, notice I brought up the Laffy Taffy. So, yeah. the, what, the, for a movie maker, he's going to have to cut out parts and he's going to have to compress things, right? Now, sometimes they do it real well. Uh, the folks with the Harry Potter, movie, Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter movie, did pretty good. Uh, one, the, uh, what's that one? The uh, Golden Compass, they didn't do it so well. Okay, it was jumpy and people didn't like the movie. Good book, but the movie was dead on arrival. Okay, they just they compressed it too much. Uh, they uh, they hurried stuff up super fast, and it turns out it's a fairly crappy movie. It happens sometimes. Have you noticed that cover of this book? Yeah. Well, she did that before they hired. Uh, this the, the actor. Uh, we, we were up to all four. The first four books were uh, uh, written before the first movie came out. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So now the other the other limitation sometimes is technical. Now the technical limitations are disappearing bit by bit as we get into CGI and computer uh, computer graphics. Yep. So those are. Uh, they're just something to be aware of. That the books will be a little bit different. The main thing is, is there's um, there's atmosphere that you bring into uh, a story that sometimes will not be there in the movie because they just can't recreate it. I'm, I'm talking about the flow. It's a little bit different, and there's uh, a lot of subplots that have to simply be left out of the movie because you don't have time for it. Uh, if you did everything that was in the Harry Potter book, uh, probably be about ten hours worth of movie. Wow! So you got to cut. It. Well, look what they did uh, with. Look what they did with The Hobbit. Okay, the Hobbit's a small book, not nearly as big as any of the Lord of the Rings books. Oh, but they made three movies out of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, the Lord of the Rings books, even with the extended versions, which is you've got, what is it, 12 hours worth? Mm -hmm. Yes, 12 hours worth of material. So basically it's one big, long 12-hour movie oh, uh, in the extended version. Uh, that's out of three books. 
did a really good book, uh, but they left out lots of stuff. But they actually brought in stuff for it too. Uh, they brought in stuff from the uh, uh, the appendixes. Uh, they actually did flesh up the story. I actually have to say it: the movies were better than the book. But in some cases, that'll happen. Mm -hmm. Probably with Star Wars, it'll be probably the case. Well, Star Wars have to remember the movie comes before the book. Yeah. Okay. So. But how did that happen? Okay, real quick, quick, quick one for it. Star Wars uh, starts out, uh, a lot of movies just start off with the good ideas for a script and make a movie out. There's no book involved. Uh, with Star Wars, um, George Lucas, uh, as a young, mov young movie maker at that time, we're talking about the mid 70s, is looking about for material. And one of the ones he saw was a Japanese movie called The Hidden Fortress. Now, The Hidden Fortress uh, basically has their version of Darth Vader, who turns good guy at the last, very last moment, uh, and has, their, uh, has two peasants who are just trying to survive. Uh, they, uh, that's basically C-3PO and R2-D2, that's where their character come from. You have a princess and a general, who uh, general trying to get the princess back to home territory. There's no Death Star involved or anything like that. But there are... Uh, but you do, uh, um, you do see lots of story connections when watching that Japanese movie. This is where uh, basically uh, Lucas is getting a lot of his material. Uh, yes? We'll get there in a minute because I have to lock my camera to get that. Uh, so the, you know, this is, this is uh, basically the movie is made directly out of uh, a pretty good script. Now, actually, the writing is pretty bad. The, uh, the, the, the lines aren't good. Uh, I have to say the best of the movie so far has been the last one. Um, one Disney made? Yeah, one Disney. Disney did a better job. Okay. Lucas has trouble with dialogue. So Disney does better. Okay, so anyway, we've uh, I've indulged you for a little bit, so let me get to where it's supposed to be. It's better. Heather, okay, come in. I want to have to take control over there. Oh, I want you to talk to me too afterwards. Okay. <laughs> well, you don't have to take a test today. Oh. Hey, um, Frank? Yes, ma'am. Do you know. Uh, do you know where Tyler Adams is? He leaves, doesn't he? Uh, he leaves, uh, True than insulting. Yeah. Kind of funny, actually. Yeah. You're giving me a teaching sixty or I have no clue. He doesn't really give you that information, but I have a guess it's probably say like the late fifties or something. Oh, okay, well, there you go. I'm gonna ask him. Yeah. 
cats. <coughs> Sorry. No problem. Let me do something about that right now. So I don't know where the test is. I don't have an idea. I don't know. Adam's turn is tested. Uh, Absolutely not. Absolutely did. I watched him walk it up. Uh, sir, if you do me a favor, don't get the test. Evie's changing his mind. No, I'm I'm I don't need to be talked to that no. way. <laughs> okay, no? I'm sorry. For, a guy's going to be a buckle. It's going to be a buckle. And he needs to be called one. I don't put up with the kid. What are you talking about? Somebody was a buckle, okay? Okay, I'll put up from the kid. I won't put, uh, you don't have to put it up from another adult. You know what? And I just, yeah, you just, you know, you, I don't He's know. He's got a long just, history of that like, crap in the brain. Yeah, you, just, you approach him nicely, and you're humble, and you wait for him to have a chance of, you don't butt into anything, and he's just, it's like he's got, you know, Mr. Barlow, it's like there's a huge cauldron, boiling hot anger inside him, and any prick, and it just comes. Yeah, that's his problem. Spewing out. Yeah, it's not fair, because... Even Miss Ludwig and Miss Jenny and everyone else. I don't like it. But I had yeah. a. Well, let's just get up talking about it. Sorry. Right now, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm talking about it, John. Well, you explain that very well. I had a freshman year. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Okay, nobody don't like him. Stop talking about I him. I felt his cock. Who? Mr. Evie. Evie? Oh. What is this one? Mr. Ebis. Okay, we're right at the point. Oh, oh man, this, this, is, this, is, this is hard for me to concentrate. Oh, my gosh, you got coffee? Because he had any idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you do me a favor right that up? Uh, folks? Just let you know your voice carries all the way up here. Sorry. Okay, I know. I, I gotta bury my feelings here. Okay, right I'm now. sorry. Well, no, okay. So, anyway, let's go to page. I did write it down, didn't I? No, sorry. You erased it. 94. 99? No, we're not. Uh, we're on page 94. We're just talking about Neville. Okay. 94, right in the middle. A boy with dreadlocks was surrounded by a small crowd. Give us a look, Lee. Go on. The boy lifted the box, lid of a box in his arms, and the people around him shrieked and yelled as something inside poked out a long, hairy leg. Harry pressed on through the crowd until he found an empty compartment near the end of the train. He put Hedwig inside first and then started to shove and heave his trunk toward the train door. He tried to lift up, lifted up the steps, but he could hardly raise one end, and twice he dropped it painfully on his foot. Want a hand? It was one of the red-haired twins he'd followed through the barrier. Yes, please, Harry panted. Oi, Fred, come here and help. With the twins' help, Harry's trunk was at last tucked away in the corner of the compartment. Thanks, said Harry, pushing his sweaty hair out of his eyes. What's that, said one of the twins suddenly, pointing at Harry's lightning star. Blimey, said the other twin, are you? He is, said the first twin. Aren't you, he added to Harry. What, said Harry. Harry Potter, chorused the twins. Oh, him, he said Harry. I mean, yes, I am. The two boys gawked at him, and Harry felt himself turning red. Then, to his relief, a voice came floating in through the train's open door. Fred, George, you in there? Coming, Mom. With a last look at Harry, the twins hopped off the train. Harry sat down next to the window where, half hidden, he could watch the red-haired family on the platform and hear what they were saying. Their mother had just taken out her handkerchief. Ron, you've got something on your nose. The youngest boy tried to jerk out of the way, but she grabbed him and began rubbing the end of his nose. Mom, you're off! He wiggled free. Ah, has Ico Ronnie got something on his nosey? Said one of the twins. Shut up, said Ron. Where's Percy? Said the mother. He's coming now. The oldest boy came into sight. 
He had already changed into his billowing black Hogwarts robes, and Harry noticed a shiny silver badge on his chest with a letter P on it. Can't stay long, Mother, he said. I'm up front. The prefix have got two compartments to themselves. Oh, are you a prefix, Percy? said one of the twins with an air of great surprise. You have should have said something. We have no idea. Hang on, I think you remember saying something about it, said the other twin. Once or twice a minute all summer. Oh, shut up, said Perfy, the prefect. Oh, come Perfy gets new robes anyway, said one of the twins. Because he, he's a prefect, said the mother loudly. All right, dear. Well, we'll have a good turn. Send me an owl when you get there. She kissed Percy on, Percy on the cheek and left. Then she turned to the twins. Now you two, this year, you behave yourself. If I get one more owl telling me you blown up the toilet or blown up a toilet, we've never blown up a toilet. Great idea, though. Thanks, Mom. It's not funny. And look after Rob. Don't worry. Eco Ronnie Kins is safe with us. Don't even think about that. Okay. I don't even know what you said. Okay, I was making a joke at your expense about blowing up toilets. I don't really see how that's funny. Oh, okay. We'll talk about it later, but I was I was giving you a general ribbing on something. Okay. Okay. So anyway, so there's a there's going to be a subplot through all the Harry Potter books, right up to the, the last one, about Percy. And the person kind of gets power mad, you know. It becomes, I am important now. I'm working with the ministry. I'm da 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 da. Okay, so. So that it's one of those subplots. And subplots can be fun. Hey, mom, guess what? Guess who we just met on the train? Top of page 97. Go. You got it, John. Just one. Top of 97? No, on the top. Trust. Harry leaned back quickly. Oh, that's not loud. Are you on the top one? Yeah, I'm on the top. Okay. Let me see. Make sure your book's the same as mine. We're running into other problems. There's going to be issues. Okay. 97. Not 197, 97. Oh, okay. Way, yeah. That's where I'm Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. See, I thought the old books were exactly alike, and we are. Okay, go for it. Henry, Blaine, Blaine, back quickly, so they couldn't see them looking. Looking, you know that black. Test forty-one. Black hair. Right here. Black hair. Is it? Are they all the same test? Boy, who was? Because he, cause he, he he's already started on test forty-one. You can just stay. Station. 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 Know who he is? Who? Henry? Hart? Potter. Potter. Henry? I've heard the little girl boy. Oh, Mom, can I go on the train and see him? Oh, please. Dude! What color do you want? Uh, huh? Okay. He just punched it. That's I cool. wouldn't have. Well, well, yeah, I'll read through. No, but you were spot on. You had problems with one word. Station. And when you get any hint, you got it. Okay. You been working on other stuff with um, reading besides in this class? Uh, I think those people. No, I've been working on English. Ooh, picking it up. Okay, so do we have a test on here for him yet? Um, we, okay. Oh, he gave you the wrong test. He, he, yeah, I need test 41, and he, we have test 8 here, 
and I, I just figure we can leave it for the rest of the day, and I'll go fix it. Up. Well, you know, one of us will get it to the right test tomorrow, because I, I, Tyler has to finish on the test that he started. All right. Is this? Good thing I wrote it down. Thank you for that. I, I can go back right now. And ask yeah. Well, why don't you do that? But, but I have a strong. Well, there's that. If he blows up, he blows up. Okay. I have a good point. Well, it's not going to give me mercy. I mean, I'm just... I'm willing to push at this point, I guess. But now okay. you're already for Frank. But, well, okay, but okay. I bet 41 is out on some for, on some kid's desk right now. Are you really kidding me? Give another copy. I gotcha. Okay. I don't really think he's probably going to put that kid. All right, so um, we, we don't need this because Tyler's answered uh, questions 1 through 60 already, which is why we want to continue with test 41. No problem. Maybe it shouldn't be coordinated. Just needs this. I am so sick of it. I think Frank is so great. I want to talk, Frank. Frank's big enough. You know, because I felt like. No, John just yelled hello out and scared the shit out of me. Sorry. Mr. Eden makes me want to cry sometimes. He's scary. I've never even, like, fought to him, but I scared him. Oh, Barlow, how do you even eat it? Yeah, stick to the wrapper. <laughs> you know what's mm. is? There's a, a special way, yeah, but see, a way. special way to open them, right? What's the life yeah, hack? Yeah, you know, it's a life hack. Exactly. I think it's not easy. What was it? Sorry, Tina. Oh, the Mr. Eden way. You're fine. You're fine. You soaked it in the freezer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if that helps with that. Can I make you kind of hot and you take it out and you get softer? Okay, I'll, I'll show it. I thought I had one ready for him. I want it back. Yeah, yeah. And it's hot. Okay. It's so difficult. Mm. Yeah, I told you. It, 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 okay, the green ones are bad. I can't the green ones anymore. Hey, look. Yep. You want to crap. I got a one piece. See? <laughs> no stuff. See, we know. We okay, know. Cool. Oh, wait, you said I can have this. What the heck? <laughs> okay. You're lying to me. Oh, the green. You said the green. green. It will come out easy. Perfect. My favorite, anyway. Oh, wait, okay. what flavor? Oh, yeah. this is oh. so random. <laughs> you know, I like that flavor. Uh, don't even dig it better. It's too good. <laughs> no. Um. I can't eat artificial apple stuff. I'll wait. Okay. Okay, here we go. Is it a big spider? He carried her the little girl's voice. Oh, Mom, can I go on the train and see him? Mom, oh, please. You've already seen him, Jenny, and the poor boy isn't something you goggle at at a zoo. Is he really, Fred? How do you know? Asked him. Saw a scar. It's really there, like the lightning. Poor dear. No wonder he was alone. I wonder. He was ever so polite when he asked how to get onto the platform. Never mind that. You think he remembers what you know who looks like? The mother suddenly became very stern. I forbid you to ask him, Fred. No, don't you dare. As though he needs reminding of that on his first day at school. All right, keep your hair on. A whistle sounded. Hurry up, the mother said. And the three boys clambered onto the train. They leaned out of the window for her to kiss them goodbye. And the younger sister began to cry. Don't, Jenny. We'll it send you loads of owls. We'll yeah, send you a Hogwarts toilet, toilet seat. George! I'm only joking, Mom. The train began to move. Yeah. Harry saw the boy's mother waving the and their sister, half laughing, laughing, half crying, running to keep up with the train until it gathered too much speed. Then she fell back and waved. Oh. Harry watched the girl and her mother disappear at the train rounded the corner. Yes! Hi! Hi! Our students, so I thought I would come over here. Let's see. Uh, Miss Pierce? Mm hmm. Uh, which Pierce? Which Pierce? Uh, she, she's, um, she's with Mr. White right now in English, correct? That's what she's let supposed me, to be. Let me switch over to, um, I gotta get comments. Uh, <coughs> okay, I'm gonna finish this, uh, eat this right, statement okay. tomorrow. So okay? she, if she is not in English right, class? So, um, I sent her a pass. I have a okay. so. uh, Do me a favor. Um, 
You know where the class is? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, you know what? I'm going to look right now to see if she's been marked absent. Well, well, oh. They took the pass and they didn't say she was absent. They just said, you know, okay. yeah. she has a tendency to disappear from the class a lot. Okay. And you want me to pull it from English? What? And you want me to pull it from English? Is that right? Right. Well, that's where she's at right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I might not get her. I've been waiting for a while, but I'll come back Monday or, or Friday at the time we decided. And we'll yeah. Would you, uh, by the way, shoot me an email reminder and let me know whether you find her or not? Yeah. Because I need we need to start documenting that kind of stuff. Yeah. For sure. I already sent you an email, so you got it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, just sorry to interrupt. No worries. Just one mm -hmm. second. Let's. Just to make sure. Um, yeah, she wasn't there. Yeah, well, Mr. White, uh, Mr. White is, uh, knows her real well, so stop in there and see if she's there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Harry watched the girl and her mother disappear as the train rounded the corner. Houses flashed past the window. Harry felt a great leap of excitement. He didn't know what he was going, what he was going to, but it had to be better than what he was leaving behind. The door of the compartment slid open, and the youngest red-headed boy came in. Anyone sitting there, he asked, pointing at the seat opposite Harry. Everywhere else is full. Harry shook his head, and the boy sat down. He glanced at Harry, then looked quickly out the window, pretending he had looked. Harry saw he still had a black mark on his nose. Hey, Ron, the twins were back. Listen, we're going down the middle of the train. Lee Jordan's got a giant tarantula down there. Right, moaned Ron. Harry, said the other twin. Did we introduce ourselves? Fred and George Weasley. This is Ron, our brother. See you later, then. Bye. Bye, said Harry and Ron. The twins slid the compartment door shut behind them. Are you really Harry Potter? Ron blurted out. Harry nodded. <laughs> Oh, well, I thought it might be one of Fred and George's jokes, said Ron. Have you really got, you know, he pointed at Harry's forehead. Harry pulls back his bags to show the lightning scar. Ron stared. So that's where you know who. Yes, said Harry, but I can't remember it. Nothing, said Ron eagerly. Well, I remember a lot of green light, but nothing else. Wow, said Ron. He sat and stared at Harry for a few moments. Then, as though he had suddenly realized what he was doing, he looked quickly out the window again. Are all your family wizards, asked Harry, who found Ron just as interesting as Ron found him. Er, yes, I think so, said Ron. I think Mom's got a second cousin who's an accountant, but we never talk about him. So you must load, know loads of magic already. The wizards were clearly one of those old wizarding families the pale boy of Diagon Alley had talked about. I heard you went to live with muggles, said Ron. What are they like? Horrible. Well, not all of them. My aunt and uncle are uh, cousin are, though. Wish I'd had three wizard brothers. Five, said Ron. For some reason, he was looking gloomy. I'm the sixth in our family to go to Hogwarts. You could say I've got a lot to live up to. Bill and Charlie have already left. Bill was head boy, and Charlie was captain of Quidditch. Now Percy is a prefect. Fred and George mess around a lot, but they still get really good marks, and everyone thinks they're really funny. Everyone expects me to do as well as the others. But if I do, it's no big deal because they did it first. You never get anything oh. new either. Oh. Of five brothers, I've got Bill's old robes, Charlie's old wand, and Percy's old rat. Go. Okay. We're on page 100 now. Okay. We're talking about Percy's old rat. 100. Percy. One minute. Where? Uh, yeah. And Percy's old rat. Okay. So, uh, I don't know one, 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 Okay. You, yeah, we're um, like a person go black. Okay. I'm not going on 194. Yeah, I'm, we're 100 now. Page 100. We're on page 94. No, 194. No, we're not. We never got that far. Okay, right, yeah. Well, actually, yeah. Right there. Yes. Okay. Okay, are you, you ready to go? Go for it. You never got anything new either about five gold brothers. I have got Bill's old drugs, Charlie's um, old one, and first old rat. Ron. I mean, that old rat's gonna come up and uh, 
let's see. Yeah, the third one. Okay. Third book. Okay. Keep on going. Um, I only need to read one more time. Ron reached. Ron reached inside the gigantic elephant way rat when he was his name is Scattered, and he, um, uh, useless. He, useless. He hardly late, ever wakes up. So he got an old an owl from a dad, from a dad, for being made a perfect, but they can't, can't ask. I mean, I got Scattered instead. Yeah, you know, you meant to say I couldn't afford it. Okay, which card do you want? Pink. Okay. Ron's ears went pink. He seemed to think he said too much because he went back to staring out the window. Because he's embarrassed about being poor. Harry didn't think there was anything wrong with not being able to afford an owl. After all, he'd never had any money in his life until a month ago. And he told Ron so, all about having to wear Dudley's old clothes and never getting proper birthday presents. This seemed to cheer Ron up. And Taggart, until Hank, and until Hagrid told me, I didn't know anything about being a wizard or about my parents' old war, old war anymore. Ron gasped. What, said Harry. You said you know his name, said Ron, sounding both shocked and impressed. I'd have thought you of all people. I'm not trying to be brave or anything, saying your name, said Harry. I just never know you shouldn't, see what I mean? I've got loads to learn. He added, voicing for the first time, something that had been worrying him a lot lately. I bet I'm the worst in the class. You won't be. There's loads of people who come from muggle families and literally flee with them quick enough. While they had been talking, the train had carried them out of London. Now they were speeding past fields full of cows and sheep. They were quiet for a time, watching the fields and lanes flip past. Around half past twelve, there was a great clatter well, outside the quarter, and a smiling, like, no, dimpled no, man. What? You're going to interrupt me right in the middle of this? Right. Okay. Around half past twelve, there was a great clattering outside the quarter, and a smiling, dimpled woman slid back their door and said, Anything off the carts, dears? Harry, who hadn't had any breakfast, left to his feet. But Ron's ears went pink again, and he muttered that he'd brought sandwiches. Harry went out in the corridor. He had, had, he had never had any money for candy at the Dursleys. And now that he had pockets rattling with gold and silver, he was ready to buy as many Mars bars as he could. But the woman didn't have Mars bars. What she did have were Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans, Dribble's Best Blowing Dub, Chocolate Frogs, Pumpkin Pasties, Cauldron Cakes, Licorice Wands, and a number of other strange things Harry had never seen in his life. Not wanting to miss everything, he got something of everything and paid the woman 11 sickles and 7 brown notes. Ron stared as Harry bought his all back in the compartment and tipped him into an empty seat. Hungry, are you? Starving, said Harry, taking a large bag out of a pumpkin face. Ron had taken out a lumpy cracker <coughs> and unwrapped it. There were four sandwiches inside. He pulled one of them apart and said, She always forgets I don't like corn. Bread. Swap you for one of those, said Harry, holding up a face. Go on. You don't want this, it's all dry, said Ron. She hasn't had much time, he had quickly. You know, we're five of us. Go on, have a peck pe uh, pe pasty, said Harry, who had never had anything to share before, or indeed anyone to share it with. It was a nice feeling, sitting there with Ron, eating their way through all of Harry's pasties, cakes, and candies. The sandwiches lay forgotten. What are these, Harry asked Ron, holding up a pack of chocolate frogs. They're not really frogs, are they? He was starting to feel that nothing would surprise him. No, said Ron, but see what the card is? I'm missing a grippa. What? Oh, of course, you wouldn't know. Chocolate frogs have cards inside them, you know. A lot. Famous witches or wizards. I've got about 500, but I haven't got a grip of or Ptolemy. Harry unwrapped his chocolate frog and picked up the card. It showed a man's face. He wore half-moon glasses, had a long, crooked nose, and flowing silver hair. Beard and mustache. Underneath the picture was the name Albus Dumbledore. So this is Dumbledore, said Harry. Don't tell me you've never heard of Dumbledore, said Ron. Can I have a frog? I might need Grippa. Thanks. Harry turned over his card and read, Albus Dumbledore, currently headmaster of Hogwarts. Considered by many the greatest wizard of modern times. 
Dumbledore is particularly famous for his defeat of the dark wizard Grindelwald in 1945, for the discovery of the 12 uses of dragon's blood, and his work on alchemy with his partner, Nicholas Hommel. Douglas Dumbledore enjoys chamber music and 10-pin bowling. <coughs> now, Grindelwald will come up in the seventh book. Okay, We're on uh, page 103 now. So Grindelwald will come up in the uh, seventh book, the last one, but Nicholas Flamel will come up in this book. So note, you always try to remember the details. Okay, go. You, you're not following. You're not following along. I don't give a rich pet. Are we? Are you ready to go? Yeah. Go for it. Then turned Elmer Shepard to Starchman. Dumbledore's face has Dumbledore sidled back into the picture on his card and gave him a small smile. Ron was more interested in eating the frogs than looking at the famous Witches and Wizards card, but Harry couldn't keep his eyes off them. Soon he not only had had not only Dumbledore and Morgana, but Hengist and Woodcock, Albert, Grunion, Circe, Paracelsus, Paracelsus, and Merlin. Okay. He finally tore his eyes away from the druidist. Cleodna, who was scratching her nose, to open a bang, bag of birdie box heavy flavored beans. You want to be careful with those, said uh, Ronald and Harry. When they say every flavor, they mean every flavor. You know, you get all the ordinary ones like chocolate and temperament and mar marmalade. But then you get spinach and liver and tripe. George reckons he had a sugar flavored one once. Ron picked up a green bean, looked at it carefully, and bit into the you know, corner. Ugh. See? Sprouts. They had a good time e eating the every flavor beans. Harry got toast, coconut, baked bean, strawberry, curry, glass, grass, or curry had to blow you up. Ah, oh, gee, man. Grass, yeah. coffee, mm. sardines, ew. and was even brave enough to nibble the end off a funny gray one Ron wouldn't touch. It turned out to be pepper. The countryside now was flying past the window. The countryside now flying past the window was becoming wilder. The wheat fields were, had gone. Now there were woods, twisting rivers, and dark green hills. There was a knock on the door of a compartment, and the round-faced boy Harry had passed on the platform when nine and three quarters came in. He looked tearful. Sorry, he said, but he have you seen a toad at all? When we shook your heads, he wailed, I've lost him. He keeps getting away from me. He'll turn up, said Harry. Yes, said the boy miserably. Well, if you see him, he left. Don't know why he's so bothered, said Ron. If I bought a toad, I'd lose it as quick as I could. Mind you, I brought scabbers so I can't talk. The rat was still snoozing in Ron's lap. He might have died and wouldn't know the difference, said Ron in disgust. I tried to turn him yellow yesterday to make him look more interesting, but the spell didn't work. I'll show you. Look. He rummaged around at the trunk and pulled out a very battered-looking wand. It was chipped in places, and something white was blinking at the end. Unicorn hair. Unicorn hair is nearly poking out. Anyway, he had just raised his wand when the compartment door slid it open again. The toadless boy was back, but this time he had a girl with him. She was already wearing her new Hogwarts robes. Has anyone seen a toad? Neville's lost one, she said. She had a bossy sort of voice, 
lots of bushy brown hair, and rather large front teeth. We've already told him we haven't seen it, said Juan, <coughs> but the girl wasn't listening. She was looking at the wand in his hand. Oh, are you doing magic? Let's see it then. She sat down, drawn, taken aback. Er, all right. He cleared his throat. Sunshine daisies, butter mellow, turn this stupid fat rat yellow. He waved his hand, but nothing happened. Scabbers stayed fat gray and fast asleep. Are you sure that's a real spell, said the girl? Well, it's not very good, is it? I've tried a few simple spells just for practice, and it's all worked for me. Nobody in my family's magic at all. It was ever such a surprise when I got my letter. But I was ever so pleased, of course. I mean, it's the very best school for witchcraft there is, I've heard. I've learned all our course books by heart, of course. I just hope it will be enough. I am Hermione Granger, by the way. Who are you? She said all this very fast. Harry looked at Rod and was relieved to see by his stunned face that he hadn't learned old course books by heart either. I'm Rosalind Weasley, Harry muttered. Harry Potter, said Harry. Are you really? said Hermione. I know all about you, of course. I got a few extra books for background reading. And you're in modern magical history and the rise and fall of the dark arts and the great wizarding events of the 20th century. Am I? said Harry, feeling dazed. Goodness, didn't you know? I'd have found out everything I could if it was me, said Hermione. Do either of you know what house you'll be in? I've been asking around and I hope I'm in Gryffindor. It sounds by far the best. I hear Dumbledore himself was in it. I suppose Ravenclaw wouldn't be too bad. Anyway, we'd better go back and look for Neville's toad. You two had better change, you know. I expect we'll be there soon. She left, taking the toadless boy with her. Whatever house I'm in, I hope she's not in it, said Rod. He threw his wand back into his trunk. Stupid spell. George gave it to me. Betty knew it was a dud. What house are your brothers in? asked Harry. Gryffindor, said Ron. Gloom seemed to be settling on him. Mom and Dad were in it, too. I don't know what they'll say if I'm wrong. I don't suppose Ravenclaw would be too bad. Imagine if they put me in Slytherin. That's the house ruled. I mean, you know who was in it. Yeah, said Ron. He flopped back into his seat, depressed. You know, I think the ends of Scabbers' whiskers are a bit uh, lighter, said Harry, trying to take Ron's mind off houses. So, what do your older bro oldest brothers do now that he left anyway? Harry was wondering what a wizard did once he finished school. Charlie's in Romania studying dragons, and Bill's in Africa doing something for Gringotts, said Ron. Did you hear about Gringotts? It's been all over the Daily Prophet. I don't suppose you get that with muggles. Someone tried to run the high club, a high security role. Harry stared. Really? What happened to them? Nothing. That's why it's such big news. They haven't been caught. My dad said it must have been a powerful dark wizard to get around Gringotts. They don't think they took anything. That's what's odd. Of course, everyone gets scared when something like this happens in case you know who's behind it. Harry turned this news over in his mind. He was starting to get a prickle of fear every time you know who was magic. He supposed this was all part of entering the magical world, but it had been a lot more comfortable than saying Voldemort without warning. Uh, what's your Quidditch team, Ron asked. Oh, Sir, yeah. I don't know any, Harry confessed. Oh, yeah. What? He said, uh, did she uh, ask for permission to go to the bathroom? Still here, I'm right here. Oh, still there? I'm sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> Who went out the door? Uh, someone brought a note for you. How much last three have to go? Oh, you gotta go? Yeah, my Oh, yeah, sure. You gotta go. Just follow the Do yellow. Do yellow, because you uh, that's your deal. Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye. Just follow the stop. Yeah, we can definitely stop right now. We're at page 108. Uh, you have a 15 minute break. You may eat. So, 155. Yeah, please don't. Mm. So, break until 155. Oh. Yes, sir.
figure out. Hair is very I hate you, but I love you. What? I said I hate you, but I love you. Oh. Hi. 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 This vlog has been. I'm gonna mess with my computer for like ten seconds. When you read, that's why you're gonna be low. Just need to keep up. That's your problem. It's on my account, you know. Oh, I won't do anything. Okay. Awesome. Why is this so tiny? I'm just playing with it, I'm sorry. Uh, Log out. No, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, I give up on everything. How many freaking. What the hell was that? Oh, that tall guy. I thought this computer. You're kind of taking a test right now. Oh, sorry. Jeez. It's not like I'm cheating off of you. Well, no, I mean.